Hello everyone and welcome to the Leilani Estates update for June 16th, 2018. Alright, the first thing we're going to talk about is Fissure 8. Uh, according to the USGS, uh, the Lower East Rift Zone eruption uh, in Leilani Estates has continued with very little change over the past few days. The lava fountains from, the, from Fissure 8 are pulsing to heights of 185 to 200 feet with a cone measuring about 170 feet tall. Uh, the lava continues to flow through the well-established channel to the ocean at uh, uh, Kapaho. Uh, occasionally lava spills over the, the channel levees. Uh, the ocean entry remained fairly broad with uh, lays blown on shore. Fissure 16 and 18 continue to ooze lava. Fissure 8, the channel, and the ocean entry are relatively stable with only a small amount of expansion at the southern boundary of the flow near the coast and south of vacation land. Pele's hair and other lightweight volcanic glass fragments from the lava uh, fountain at Fissure 8 uh, are continuing to fall downwind of the fissure dusting the ground within a few hundred meters or yards uh, of the vent but uh, with stronger you know high winds uh, some of the larger particles get uh, blown you know further away you know to greater distances and of course you know we need to minimize our exposure to these particles because they can cause uh, skin and, and eye irritation you know, very similar to you know, the volcanic ash that, that's been blanketing the southern area of the island uh, that's coming from the summit. Hawaiian Volcanic Observatory field crews uh, apparently are tracking the fountains, the lava flows, and the spattering from Fissure 8 as the conditions allow them to do so. Observations are also being collected on a daily basis by them from the cracks in the area of Highway 130, there's been no changes in temperature, crack width, or gas emissions have been noted in, in several days. Emissions from Fissure 8 are, are still very high, and the winds are expected to bring fog into the central, south, and western parts of the island. Moving over to the EPA's Toxic Gas Air Monitoring Viewer, we're looking at the sensor over in Leilani Estates on uh, Capono Street. Um, currently, the sensor is reading both for SO2 and H2S at zero parts per million as of 5.27 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time. And finally, the SO2 prediction model map for June 17th, 2018 at 12 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time. Uh, predicts pretty much the same as what we had today. I want to say thank you to everyone that has commented uh, how, how much you like my photographs. I, I really appreciate that. Um, I'm glad someone other than myself can enjoy them. And I want to say a special thank you to the individuals that have already purchased uh, some of my prints from my Smug Mug account. Uh, I do so much greatly appreciate that. And it is very encouraging. All these photos seen here are new photos that I've added to the account, plus uh, others that aren't shown. I will post a link to my Smug Mug account in the description for the video for anyone that would like to go take a look at my entire collection. Well, that does it for the update this evening. Thank you for watching, and remember to subscribe, like, and share this video with all your friends. This has been the Leilani Estates Update for June 16th, 2018.